how's it going? It's Vasco from the Angular University and I'm sure you all heard the great news, so Angular 2 is out. I would like to bring you a quick demo of how to use Angular 2 Final together with the latest CLI. So this is the webpack preview of the CLI. We're going to see why there are several reasons throughout this video why it's a great idea to use the Angular CLI, either if you are just trying out the framework for the first time and you want a safe, stable playground as a development environment, or even if you are starting out a new project, you should at least have a look at the CLI because it might be a very good option. Please bear in mind that the CLI is in beta. So let's have a look at it. Let's simply install the latest Angular CLI so we no longer need to do uh, npm install Angular CLI at Webpack. So if you are in Unix or a Mac, you might have to throw in a sudo. Let's just do that. This will take a while, but the installation will be completed. So now if you do ng minus minus version, you should get the beta 14 version. So if it says something like slash Webpack, it's not the correct version. This is the correct one, beta 14. So let's just now scaffold a project using ng new. Hello world. So this will take a while, but a new Angular 2 project will be generated, fully prepared to run Angular 2 final. And after a while, we have a new project completely scaffolded. So let's open it here. It's the project hello world. And if we inspect the package.json, we can see that everything is updated to Angular 2 final. The router is uh, the version 3.0. So this is a working Angular 2 project. Let's open here the main file. Let's have a look at the application module. So everything is compliant with Angular 2 final. Let's run the project. So here in the command line, we need to CD into the folder and there we simply type ng serve and this will start a development server. One of the advantages of this development server is that it has hot reloading working. Let's see this in action. So after a while your development server is running, so if you go to localhost port 4200, let's do 4200, we have here a running hello world application, so this is running in development mode, so it's in just in time compilation mode. Let's take a look at the network tab. So. If we refresh the application, we can see that we only have about six requests and everything loads in about one second. So this gives a very good experience for development. We don't have a lot of HTTP requests. Now let's do a modification. Let's go to the application component. And as we can see, another advantage of using this CLI version is that we don't have to fill in here this property module ID that we need to fill in if we are using, for example, system.js, at least for the moment. So we can simply type here the relative path to the template. Let's see here in the file directory structure. So this file.html.css are right next to the component file. So we can reference them simply by using a relative path and the CLI will be able to find these files and add them to the build transparently. So no module ID needed. Now let's make it here a quick change to the template. So let's just say Angular 2, hello world. And we're going to see hot reloading in action. So if we save the file that kicks in our build, it will rebuild the application bundle and it will trigger hot reloading. So we have here the new change applied automatically. The CLI is also very convenient for developing new components and services, so it takes away all the need for boilerplate. So if, for example, we create a new component, so ngg of generate, and then we generate a component, let's call it hello. If we run this command, we are going to have an hello component generated. We have here the paths and the files that were generated. So here inside app, we have here a new component ready to use. Everything is filled in automatically for us according to the Angular style guide. So this is really very convenient for development. Another great thing about this generated component is that not only it follows the Angular 2 style guide, but also it's ready to use. So if we take 
the app LO selector of the component. Let's simply try to add it here to the template of our application. So if we apply it directly in a template and we hit Ctrl S, this is going to trigger the rebuilding of the bundle. And we can see that the hello component was already included in the template. So the generated component is not only compliant with the style guide, but it's ready to be used because it was correctly registered here in the application module. Many other CLI commands are already available. Let's, for example, generate a new directive. So ngg directive. And here let's pass in a path and we are going to call it my directive or simply my dear. We're going to create the directive and we can see here the paths where the directive is available. So here it is under the shared folder. So more commands are available for the CLI. Let's generate a pipe as well. NGG pipe, NGG pipe, and we are going to call it my pipe. So if we run this also here, if we don't pass in a path, it will uh, show up on the root of the application that might not be what is intended. So as we can see, the pipe is here. And again, all these directives, pipes, services, etc., that are generated via the command line, they are ready to be used in the templates directly. Another great thing about the CLI is that the production build is already usable. Actually, we could create a build, a development build using ng build and a production build using minus minus prod. And this would create a dist folder containing the build. But in order to use either build, we don't have to run ng build. We can simply run the corresponding serve command. So in this case, ng serve minus minus prod. And what this will do is that it will create a minified uh, compressed bundle that is also tree shaked. So let's take a look here at the output log. As we can see here in the log, we can see which functions were dropped in the production build. So this will reduce the size of the bundle. As we can see, the application still works perfectly in production mode. Now, if you take a look here at the main.ts file, you can see that the application is running in production mode, but we are still using just-in-time compilation in this case. So uh, one uh, future announcement that will further reduce the bundle size will be to get uh, ahead of time compilation integrated in the build. So that will be available in the future. But meanwhile, the CLI is a very good uh, solution for starting to play around with Angular 2 as a playground. Or even if you are starting a project today, why not start it directly with the CLI? You can see that you get a lot of productivity. You just run a command in the command line and you get a working component. So this is huge. You have a great development experience with the hot reloading. And in the near future, it will be just a matter of updating the CLI and your build will still work. Your application will still work because there won't be any breaking changes for the next six months. So it looks like the CLI is the ideal starting point for starting to learn Angular 2.